everyone, I'm Von the Stampede and I'm taking a look at the career and the life of Bobby Caldwell. Born as Robert Hunter Caldwell, August 15, 1951, Bobby Caldwell was born in Manhattan but grew up in Miami, Florida. His mother was in real estate and one of her clients was the legendary Bob Marley. Growing up in Miami, Caldwell was exposed to different types of music such as Haiti, Latin, reggae, and R&B. At the age of 17, Caldwell played multiple instruments and worked with bands in Las Vegas and moved to Los Angeles and got his big break as a rhythm guitarist for Little Richard in the early 70s. Caldwell would finally get his chance by signing with TK Records in 1978. That same year, Caldwell released his debut album Bobby Caldwell. The album reached number 21 in the Billboard 200 and the top R&B charts at number 7. By 1977, he spent the last six years playing with different bands and trying to get a recording deal. What you want to do, to do for love This was the album that many people discovered Caldwell but didn't know that he was white and the reason is that because well I'm gonna let this gentleman explain here. Rest in peace to our blue-eyed soul brother Bobby Caldwell who passed away today. I found out why so many black people thought he was black and it was done on purpose. Bobby Caldwell was signed to a record label called TK Records. His single What You Won't Do For Love was gonna be the lead single but TK Records had mostly R&B acts and broke all their singles through R&B radio. So they had this picture is what they were going to use to promote the single because this is what Bobby looked like. And they were like, nah, man, that ain't going to work for the black folks. They ain't going to do it. So Bobby himself came up with the idea based on a picture that he loved of himself. He covered the picture with acetate and made a black silhouette at the brim. Black people didn't know. They loved the song. Black people was like, we love Bobby Caldwell. He went on tour with Natalie Cole. And it was then that black people were like, hold up. This Bobby Caldwell is white. But by the end of his set, black people was like, well, I don't care what you is, this song slap, this music slaps, we love it. And that's why black folks always thought Bobby Caldwell was black, because they wanted us to. Rest in peace, brother. After the success of his debut album, he released two more albums, Cat in the Hat and Carry It All. This happens to be my favorite right here, because um, I had reached a point as a writer on this album where I felt uh, I was moving on into different song topics instead of just love uh you know songs like jamaica and sunny hills that weren't necessarily about love but jamaica being about a place and sunny hills being about uh, a sanitarium you know, it's uh, this was a nice relief for me to make this album in 1983, Caldwell released August Moon in Japan. The album finally released in the United States in the 1990s. In 1992, Caldwell received the award for Best Foreign Artist at the 34th Japan Recording Awards. During the 90s, 2000s, and the 2010s, Caldwell continued to release albums over the years and got some writing credit for other artists. For example, he wrote the hit Next Time I Fall by Amy Grant and Peter Cetra. He would also lend his hand with movie soundtracks such as Mac and Me, Salsa, and The Night of the Comet. Side note, Caldwell made a cameo in the 1988 film Salsa. He also portrayed as Frank Sinatra from October 1999 to January 2000 in the Las Vegas musical The Rat Pack is Back. Sadly, Caldwell will pass away on March 14, 2023. His death was announced by the following day by his wife. She tweeted, quoted, Bobby passed away here at home. I held him tight in my arms as he left us. I am forever heartbroken. Thanks to all of you for your prayers over the years. He has been floxed it. It took his health over the last six years and two months. Rest with God, my love. Bobby Caldwell left a lot of work that have been sampled by Tupac, Chance the Rapper, and many more artists I probably didn't name.
His infamous song, What You Won't Do For Love, has been covered by Boys To Men and Michael Bolton. Love, you tried everything, but you won't give up. I got a thing for you, and I can't let go. Mr. Caldwell left an impressive legacy being one of the smoothest vocalists to enter the industry, released many songs under his belt, and even staying relevant in the 90s where rappers had to sample his sound. Rest in peace, Bobby Caldwell. You were taken from this world too soon. And that's the end of the video. First of all, I want to shout out to Cav on Stage. So go check out Cav on Stage social media accounts. Uh, I like his content. Um, how did you discover... Bobby Caldwell I think I discovered him just like everybody else and do you have a favorite song by him don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and uh comment on this video man I'm Von the Stampede and I'll see you guys next time ciao